Hi, good morning everyone, good morning. Welcome to Friday, August 20th. All right, it's worksheets for student Shuichiro. Are you ready for today, Shuichiro? Yes, I'm ready. Shuichiro, what a great guy. He's ready for today. Hiroko, are you ready for today? Yes. Hitomi, you ready? Yes. Greg, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, it's gonna be, look, I just realized we have all this pink stuff still hanging around. This was summer camp. Well, it looks really neat in here. Hands up on the video, you guys. Who likes this pink stuff that's hanging around our, hanging around the second floor? Look, and you see, oh, we'll take that one down. Who likes the pink stuff, you guys? Hands up, say, I like it. I like it. Pretty neat, right? Mm, I know, I know. I might take some of it down. I'm gonna ask you today when you come to school to put your hand up if you want the pink stuff to stay. And another quick update. The Active Learning Center is getting much closer to being finished, you guys. When you go in there, you won't even have any idea where you are. It's just, it's going to have so many athletic type things in there. But just remember, it's HKIS. So when you go there, everything is English, English, English. If you're going on the zip line, it's English. If you're walking on the slack line, it's English. If you're rock climbing, it's English. If you're going in the tunnel net, yes, a tunnel net, it's English. So just remember, it's, it's good to move around. It's good to challenge yourself. That's why we're doing it. The same as Chiba, the same as Canada, but everything in the Active Learning Center is English, English, English. Okay, so get ready for that, you guys. It'll be so exciting. Okay, let's get cracking. Worksheets for students, this is number one. Number one, where is this arrow pointing? Here you have the water, the land, the sky. Water, land, sky. Water, land, sky. Where is the arrow pointing? That's right, it is pointing towards the sky, everybody, the sky. So that's number one, the sky. So if that one was the sky, how about this arrow? Where is this arrow pointing? This arrow right here. It's pointing to the l l the land. That's right, the land. Water, land, sky. So your two big words, Shuichiro Hiroko too, the words of the morning class especially are sky and land. Skyland, and they're right here too. Look at those two arrows going to S and L. Sky and land. Sky and land. Sky and land. All right, so what do you think today's craft is? It's all about apples or bananas or, or school buses? No, nope. no, nope. we're a theme-based school. So today's craft is also about the sky the land, and also a little bit of the splash, splash, splash. A little bit of the water too, that's right, that's right. Okay, here's number four. Number four, here it is, it's pointing to the sky again. It says, I can see, uh oh, what can you see in the sky? This is number four, so I did not put the end of the sentence, I just want you to focus on what you can see in the sky. Can you see an elephant in the sky or can you see an eagle in the sky? Is it an elephant or is it an eagle? I don't know. Okay, here we go. This one is more complete. In the sky, I can see a big, what? Elephant or eagle. Elephant or eagle, you guys. That's right, it's the eagle. All right, and here, number six, harder still. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Write the first two letters of, e of each animal. Okay, the first two letters of each animal. So first you have to read the beginning of the sentence. Okay, and think what animal that is. We've been covering six animals, right? In the sky, we have the big eagle and the small butterfly. On land, we have the big elephant and the small ant. In the water, we have the big whale 
and the small the small seahorse that's right so here you have to read the sentence and figure out where you write the first two letters of the animal it's not easy but that's number six for you all right number seven even cooler you guys look at that picture you can kind of see the the whale in there too right those png files are great this picture is amazing it shows an eagle in the where an ant on the where and a whale in the where finish your sentence you guys okay fill in those blanks and here we're getting a little bit into next week's theme so Japan is amazing, right? Who likes Japan? Or who likes Canada? All right, so Japan is amazing because you can see all three things. You can see the blue sky. You can see, you can see mountains on the land and you can see beaches at the ocean. So Japan is amazing, but not all countries, right? From, from some countries around the world, you cannot see mountains on the land or you cannot see beaches at the ocean or the ocean at all. And so that's next week, you guys. We're talking about what countries, what you can see and what you cannot see from some countries. Countries where you cannot see the oceans are called a tomi. Landlocked countries. And there are quite a few landlocked countries in the world. 44 to be exact. So let's get into it from next week. But here you go. Let's talk a little bit about Japan. Japan is on the continent of Asia. Japan is amazing because I can see mountains on the land, beaches at the ocean and blue sky so please color your picture accordingly color color uh the cars are both warmed up so you're looking good guys but you you can both push, push off pretty quick yeah but they're both turned on they're both good to go so this one here is just one of two so just write your name and just look at it just look at it okay that's it that's that's all you do for number nine it's actually it's really cool it's just trying something new with you guys again so that's number nine and this is number ten so number 10, Japan is amazing because I can see mountains on the land, beaches at the ocean, and blue sky. The red dots, so you have to go back over here. The red dots show the areas of the world where I think you cannot see the ocean. Okay, now it's your job. Color this red just so you understand what's going on. And here, go back to number 9 and color red dots on in all of the areas where you think we cannot see the ocean do you understand okay, when you come to school i'll help you with it as well of course it's harder for sure but that's what makes it so much fun okay and here's number 11. number 11 just read it right from this red dot i think you cannot see the right but the elevation changes a lot. The elevation changes. So I think you can see Greg, mountains, or many apples. Swisher's going to ask you to watch it. So no, it's and here's number 12. Number 12. Remember that word? It's called landlocked. So landlocked countries are places where you cannot see the ocean. They have no access to the ocean. How many of those countries are there again? 22 plus 22, 48 minus 4, 0 plus 44. Oh, here are two countries where you cannot see the ocean. But what two countries are they? That's right, we're going to investigate these together using our iPad. We have several iPads, so we're going to investigate that together. Let's find out together what countries are landlocked around the world, and then let's compare the two flag pictures on the worksheet to the flags 
that we can see through the iPad. Let's go, you guys. Amazing. Proud of you all. Cambridge test starts tomorrow for the starters test. So let's go, everybody. Let's go. And I'll see you soon. Okay? So bye, everyone. Bye. See you soon. Bye, Greg. And uh, let me know if you like the pink on the second floor when you come. <laughs> okay, bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.